Women who behave rarely make history. Hmm. Hi, I'm Deborah, also known as Dubich42. Welcome back to my channel, and today it is my take. My take on how I'm supposed to behave and how I'm supposed to present myself being a female of the middle-aged persuasion. Yes, I'm 47. I don't hide my age. I don't necessarily act my age, but I don't hide it. I love having colorful hair. I love expressing myself. I laugh and carry on and listen to music that people my age aren't supposed to do. <gasps> Gasp. Well, you know, I don't know that I'm going to make history. I mean, among my own friends and family, sure. They already think that I'm weird. I'm odd and I'm a little irreplaceable. But you know what? You tend to think that about your family members and your friends because they're unique and you love them for them. But as far as out in the world, no, nobody cares. And that's okay. I'm doing things that I want to do. Coloring my hair hurts nobody. No, it doesn't. Wearing clothes that I think are cute hurts nobody. It just makes me feel good. A lot of people also say because, well, I'm middle-aged, I'm a woman, and I'm fat, I definitely shouldn't be doing some things. Oh my goodness, I should not be showing my arms. <gasps> Jiggleage. Y'all know what I have to say about that. Uh, yeah, I won't turn the other one up till later. I also wear shorter skirts and dresses. Not too terribly short because I do work, but when I'm not at work, sometimes they're a little bit shorter. I'm 5'11 with no shoes. And a lot of times when I go out, I'm wearing high heels. Do I need to be any taller? No, really I don't. But I just like the way it feels to be in heels. It makes you stand a certain way. Do I do it all the time? No. I don't do it when society expects me to. I just do it when I want to. Matter of fact, today I'm going to be wearing some high heeled sneakers. They're sitting right over there. So I keep looking at them because they're cute. So why do people think that if we are not in some sort of position of authority, because you know, the Grand Cheeto notwithstanding, that we should behave in some certain proper way? I don't. And I celebrate people who don't. I am not going to be apologetic for being myself, for being kind of loud and out there sometimes. Maybe not necessarily loud, but I do speak up. Uh, when we have meetings and things like that at work, some people are just so very quiet. They're afraid to say anything. Not me. If I have a question, I'll pop up with a question. Then they get to the end and they're like, does anybody have any questions? I'm like, oh, I didn't know we were supposed to wait. You didn't say so. Oh, no, no, you didn't have to wait, but nobody else has said anything. Speak up. Use your voice. Not your whiny voice. But use your voice. Your voice of a person. Your voice of someone who matters. Who is important. Because you are important. You should be important to you your family, your co-workers, your friends. You have a circle of people that are important to you and that you are important to. That doesn't mean you're only important if you're quiet and meek and look down at the ground and are boring. You're important if you express yourself too, even if sometimes they seem a little bit annoyed by it. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel today and just my little rambling my take because I just didn't feel like following any rules today. I've got some more my takes up here about a variety of things. And up here are my good stuff Mondays because sometimes you just need some good stuff to get you through the week. See ya.